Once you've finished creating a button design in Build a Button, of course, you'll want to print that design so that you can actually create buttons with the design. And for that, we will use the Save and Print option. So up at the top right of Build a Button, you'll find the Save and Print button. You can click that button to bring up the list of options for saving your button design. And in this case, we would want to save to print. In other words, we're saving the button design in a printable form. So I'll click the Save to Print button, and you'll see a Page Options window appear. And here we can specify how we're going to be cutting out our buttons. If you're using a punch cutter or a circle cutter, you can choose that first option and then specify that you want the default number of images on the page, or you can choose Select Number and specify how many copies of that button design you want on a given page. Or if you're using a die cutting press, then the result will be a document that automatically includes a full page of button images. In this case, I'll use the die cutting press option and then click OK. That will give me then an option for the file type that I want to use. And I can save as either a PDF portable document format file, a JPEG image file, or a PNG image file. Generally, for printing a set of button designs, I would use the PDF option. That's a widely supported document format, but you could also use the JPEG or PNG image options if you prefer. I'll leave that setting at PDF and then click OK. I can then specify a file name, so I'll call this Venice button, and I could even reference the size of the button. So in this case, it happens to be a one and a quarter inch button size, and I'll even specify that this is a circular button, and then I will click Save. Once the processing is complete, I can click the Download File button in order to save that, in this case, PDF document that is a print-ready document containing my button design.